Hey guys, it's Buddy Seven or Two here, and welcome back to episode two, I believe it is, of Skycade SMP Survival. Today we will be going up and down at. Oh, uh, they, they can fly. You, you can fly. Really? Oh, I can't fly. So anyway, let's let's see what we can get out of these crates. Oh, jeez, it's loud on my ears. What do we get? We got a llama. We got some prismarine, that's cool. We got some leather and paper. Really? What else do we get? We got ourselves a five grand, beautiful. That's gonna get my balance up a little bit. And let's clear that out there. And we got ourselves seven grand. Oh, that's nice. So, is my balance going to go up? 96.1k, beautiful. So anyway, today we are going back to P-Warp Grind, and I'm going to show you guys what I have done since the last episode. So I've got the store here, and as you guys can probably tell, I've got a bit more money now. Not really buying stuff, I've just been selling stuff at other people's places. So I'm going to put this into, where, where's my, my random, let's just chuck in rare items, eh? That can go into there, and in the, oops, in the chest can go into there. Our mob drops go into there. Let's just stick the paper in there. So I've got a little room here with my storage chest and all that. If you come around here, put in some stairs. Come up around here. We've got ourselves some lovely mushrooms. We've taken out the st store here. Why the heck did I just start like that? It was a bit weird. Anyway, so we've got a little my little helper there but they're just sitting there at the moment i need to build a little room going around here but i'm not sure what i'm going to build it out of yet and i've got to sell a little farm here and and what we've got now is you, can, you might be able to see it right now we've got ourselves some villagers people they were not too far away they're actually quite easy to get because i thought oh i found a village that way there in the distance but it was sadly all blocked off by someone but I went for a wander and I found one over there managed to bring drag three of them back one down there two in here and they have been breeding really well so if we pop down through here we get to see what they have produced so far so down in here these are all our villages I've got so far so we have got a shepherd and we've also got a fletcher and you guys might not be you guys might be able to guess what we're going to be doing today. We will be building ourselves some lovely automatic farms. We've got one villager here, which he hasn't quite unlocked his last trade yet. Which I, I need to unlock it, and hopefully if they have mending at the end, that's going to be beautiful. I'd love to be able to get mending. That's what I want to do, because I want to sell mending books and have like a good supply of them. So anyway, in today's episode, we will be working on a lovely farm down here so how this farm works is we have it too high got the dirt here got a little observer that goes flicks on and off the bits and pieces pop off here into a compressed hopper and that gets all unloaded down into here and we're going to stack them up in like a big make a big tower of them and this is the supplies i've got to do this so I'm just going to quickly check who's the guy who designed this was called because I can't remember. I'll be back in a... The farm design was by a logical geeky boy. So we're going to be getting right into this here. I'm just going to quickly get rid of that there. We've got... Oh my god. Really? I love when those lags what's happened. As you can see I've got a lot better gear now. It has taken quite a while to try and get that all sorted. But what I'm going to do first is we're going to go around the outside. Oh, jeez, it actually goes a lot quicker than I thought. And we're going to place in just an outside barrier just so we can at least have like this looking quite good. And we are going to be getting rid of the cane farm because in the next few episodes I want to work on getting a big tall one built, which I might get it built over here. And I want to get ourselves a nice tall melon farm done as well. Melon and pumpkin. I don't think at we warp shop. Do they sell pumpkins here? If they do, I know a farm we're going to use. Can we sell pumpkins? No, we can't sell pumpkins. So, where's this going to take me? Back here, that's good. So, we're going to make ourselves a lovely pumpkin farm as well, which I might use the one that we stack up. The one that we, you guys might know about. <laughs> uh, my Skyblock survival, uh, my Skyblock series. 
come on. So I love it when there's lots of people. There's not even many people online. Why aren't you breaking? There we go. Sometimes it just glitches out. So that's the farm I'm thinking of building anyway. But that's probably going to be a bit different. That's probably going to be all observer orientated because I'm not sure how to build those farms. So I'm going to have to Google or YouTube how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this down here. And I am going to place in our lovely water blocks, which I need to, which I might just quickly do that now. So what we have to do is we get our stone brick slabs, we or stairs, we place them all down here, jumping up and round, grab ourselves some water, and place them in here and water log these stairs. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place in the roof of this place is going to be two blocks high and it is going to be made out of dirt so I'm going to have another dirt hoppers going along no it's going to be I'm going to have another dirt platform going up one more high so this bottom bit here is just probably going to be just some slabs going along as well so some double slabs there and then we have a hopper chain going through underneath as well so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this all into place and I'll be back once I place in the hopper chain and observer going through there I'll probably also put the glass as well so I'll see you guys in a very quick short split second gap I suppose so I'll see you okay everyone this place is okay everyone this is what my place looks like Okay everyone, this is what my farm is going to look like here. It's going to be all made out of spruce with little spruce trap doors here. And if we walk around in the inside here, we hop up and then we chuck down like this is where our seed's going to be going. And then right here, we shouldn't be able to place down any blocks. So now let's go ahead and place in our little hopper sort of system which is going to be going along and underneath here. So we're going to go down and place down one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, seven and eight. That should be in between all of these here. And then I need to quickly go grab myself a hopper, a railroad, and I'll be back in a sec. Here we go, got the railroad down, and then we need to chuck down a hopper minecart. And then we need to try and get down. Got to be. I can't quite. I'm over this block lag. Here we go. Get rid of that there. Then we go up, across, up, up, and then we go there. Then we chuck down our piston. then we place it down like so and that means that when we have our villager come along they are going to just try and chuck the seeds down and it's always going to be popped off so next bit we need to do is we need to place down our lovely observers which I do not have in my inventory yet and this here is going to create like a constant little flicker to try and like to update the blocks so that the pieces pop on and off. I really hope it's meant to be like that there. So we need to place it down. No, not down like that there, the opposite way around. Come on. I'm over this this connection lag to me has been quite bad. It's been quite bad today, which is place it down like that there and I believe we place the next one facing into it because they're constantly updating each other I can't, I'm just trying to remember how it goes great way to do this eh? great way to do a video that which I have no idea there we go and that there's how it should work so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to just pretty much hole this area and I'm going to bring in our first villager and we can't do grass seed here, it has to be carrots and pumpkins 
So I'll do that there, and I'll see you guys once I have done that. There we go, everyone. Here goes our Fletcher going down for our little makeshift little tunnels through here. So as soon as he gets on to this powder rail here, we're then going to quickly go along and then remove all of this here because we need we need this rails again. Place it down there. Just quickly pop through here and place down these rails going up and along here, going through. And let's just quickly get one last rail going up. And just jump. Come on. Let's just destroy that there. Get that down there and let's place in another, whatever you call them, levers there to try and get them moving. Then go on the other side and give them a couple nudges. Come on. You can do it. Get, get on the back. Surely on the powder rail by now. Oh, this is painful. Always painful to move villages. There we go, and now he's away, and he's probably going to stop before he even gets up top, which is going to be a pain. Nope, right in. And then, now I'm going to get this here, get bits of glass. And I'm just going to leave them in there for the time being, because I need to quickly go grab some carrots. Okay, run the farm was pretty much complete now. I just have to release this guy in a second, but I realised something. I was going, why aren't these ones here allowing me to grow? This one here is not meant to allow me to grow. But then I was like, this seems a little bit odd. And I realised I have put the roof too high. So I'm going to have to go ahead and lower this all down. And then as soon as I do that there, I'm pretty much just going to go AFK for quite a while. Or overnight. And then we'll see how well it does in the next day. But I'll probably get to do the rest of this clip in a couple of days' time. Because I've got, I'm going to be a bit busy. So yeah. I'm going to leave this off for now, and in a split second we'll be back, and the top layer will be done with the other villager in there. And hopefully we'll be producing plenty of potato, we've got carrots here, and we have potatoes up top, and maybe another uh, potatoes on there. So hopefully you guys, well I'll see you, <laughs> yeah I'll see you guys in a split second. Whew. Okay everyone, I have completed the second layer on here, and it is looking pretty good. I now realise that the roof was supposed to be a little more higher because of the um, hoppers that were going there. But anyway, the farm has starting to produce crops, which is awesome. But then that only happened after I disabled the village breeder, which I already had built over this side here. So to fix that issue, we need to build a new village breeder, and I have decided to place it up here. So we're going to eventually slowly design this whole area. That is the plan. So we're going to have a villager breeder here. and might have stuff below it eventually. I'm going to get rid of all this. And then we're going to have behind the kelp farm. We're going to have a tower of villagers going up there eventually. That is my plan. But this is where the villager breeder will be located. So this is where. Well this is a farm design. Which I have just did a little bit of research on. Just to try and figure out something interesting. And something different to do. The farm design which I've never done. So we're going to have to see. If it actually works that well. So I have to place down some slabs to start off with. Nice and simple. And then we have to pretty much place the doors down. And place down ourselves a solid block in there. So I'm just going to jump up to here. And then that, that, that was horrible wasn't it. So let's just jump up to here and re-attempt it doing that there. And then we need to place ourselves in a, a lovely trapdoor, which I do not have. That needs to go there, and we need to go round and make a 4x4 four four square going round the outside. And there we go, people. That is pretty much the farm done. With well, the village already done, apparently that, that's all it is. It's just four doors down there, and yeah, that's apparently the entire thing. Which I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we shall find out once I put the two villages in here. I don't mean two villages, I mean I'm going to transfer these four that are over here, get rid of the green one that's down there. Transfer those four into here and see if they will breed us. Just to give them a bit of food, get a farmer in here eventually. And they were supposed to infinitely breed and like have thousands and thousands of villages in here. <coughs> 
but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. We should find out, hopefully. So, yeah, in episode four, we should start off designing this here and getting the place a good tidy up, really, because I want to try and wall off this area here and like, have hundreds of turtles swimming around here and hopefully like build a little trade station, which is probably going to be pretty basic and simple, like the one we have down here, like my little free turtles here. But a trade station that is like this here, so it'll be nice and simple. And hopefully I really want to get myself a mending villager because that will be a good way for me to make some lovely income by selling mending books. So that's all I've got time for to do today, people. Hope you enjoyed watching this weird video. Hopefully my commentating will slowly improve eventually. But anyway, thanks for watching. If anyone ever watches these videos, but I don't, I don't, it doesn't really, I don't, it doesn't bother me. It's not like I rely on this as a living because I have a proper job and life. So yeah, hope everyone enjoyed watching and thanks for watching. And let's cue that lovely outro. See you next time. Play it on play.skycade.net. You can be my new thing.